Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I customize my U doll that I purchased from Dolpha Kind. So in case this is the first time that you're seeing this kind of doll, so these are the dolls that are exclusively distributed by Dolpha Kind. I'll make sure to put in their link in the description. But anyway, so this is almost like a creator own. Uh, you can choose what kind of wig what kind of eyes that you're going to use on the doll so this is um i think the second edition because um the, when they first released this the doll that they used or the face mold look a bit like our generation in my opinion and then they came up with this new face mold and i was really intrigued i actually prefer this face mold and then the first one uh the first one don't get me wrong i liked it uh, but I like this one better because this one is a bit unique. It's not smiling. It's kind of frowning actually. So it looks more like a toddler in my opinion. And yeah, I really liked it. So when it was available for ordering, um, I immediately got my hands on one. So here she is. I chose the lightest skin tone. However, okay, so to save up a bit of money and because I thought it's going to be a walk in the park. So what I did was I ordered the doll eyes separately. Okay, so you can only use the stationary eyes in this doll. So I thought, okay, I have already had some experience in eye swapping. So this should be a piece of cake. However, okay, I'm going to tell you this now. Okay, if you're planning on getting this doll, it will be better for you to just have it delivered to you with her eyes already in. So for the wig swap, it's I guess it's okay. You can definitely do that without any difficulty. However, for the eyes, oh my god. Okay, I'm, this is going to be a fail video. Okay, so let me go ahead and say that right now. Um, eventually, I was able to put in her eyes. But this is going to be a journey. So it was definitely not a walk in the park like I initially thought. It was really, really, really difficult. So again, if you haven't um, internalized it already, if you haven't absorbed what I said earlier, if you plan to get this doll, it will be much better. It will do you a world of good. Get the doll with her eyes already placed in. Okay, so again, it's not going to be easy. Her vinyl is very tough, okay, as you will see in the next clip. So it's not going to be like one, two, three, and then the, the eyes are in. No, it's going to be a real journey, okay. So as you can see, I really love her face. It's so cute. Um, I love how petulant she looks. She looks like she's um, on the verge of a tantrum. And yes, <laughs> she is. She is that kind of uh, little girl whom you think is sweet and kind and gentle but um, just um, uh, an hour of her time and you would know that she is a helion. <laughs> but anyway, so enough blabbering, let me go ahead and show you what happened and why I'm saying that it's not going to be um, easy to put in her eyes. One thing you have to know is that there's a hole at the top of her head. So if you're going to put in hot water inside her head, it's going to leak. So make sure to cover that. I'm showing you the stationary eyes that I chose. So these are violet eyes. Um, I think they look really, really nice. Uh, they look cute and they're going to look really good in my U doll. So I thought. Okay, so this is the U doll. So as you can see, face is already pre-painted, so I don't have to worry about that. However, she doesn't have any eyebrows, so you have to draw that yourself. So I'm just showing here the nail um, tool that I use to adjust the eyes. So this is a pusher. I'm not sure what it's really called, but we just call it a pusher. And yeah, so here I'm showing that I already put in hot water inside her eyes head so these are is freshly boiled hot water you can see the steam coming out from it going to of course make sure that there's nothing left inside uh, her head so i'm going to do my first attempt in putting in the eyes so based on the tutorial uh given by dal uh, dal of a kind so you're going to have to push it in put in the eyes inward 
as you can see i'm already struggling here because the vital is a bit tough it's tougher it's harder than the usual the american girl one so yes but i was able to get the eyes in barely i really had to use a lot of brute force in order to put it in eventually i had to use a nail pusher to put in the eyes and i don't think you need to do that really usually because the eyes should be easy to put in the vinyl is very very soft i wouldn't have been able to at least put in the eyes with i didn't have lindsay bartel's um guidance so she told me that what you should do if you're going to do this if you haven't if you will continue on putting in the eyes yourself instead of like, like what i suggest that you just request for the doll of kind to put in the eyes for you you have to put in the entire head submerge in boiling water for six minutes so you really 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 need to have the head really soft so it's not going to take like just a minute or so of putting in the eyes, um, putting in hot water inside the head. So what you need to do is to put in the entire head, submerge it in hot water. Okay, and then wait for six minutes. And then that's the only time that it's going to allow you to, uh, you know, put in the eyes. Because if, even if you put in, were able to put in the eyes, it's still going to be a bit tough okay the vinyl is really really hard so as you can see here i'm really struggling um i'm trying to move the eyes a bit because uh, based on the tutorial uh, you will you would need to do is to once you have the eyes inside um inwards so you're going to put it sideways and then you're going to put in cotton filling inside the eyes so this is going to allow you to move the eyes um well in whatever direction you want it to go okay so i've already placed in the first eye so i'm going to attempt uh, the second one okay so as you can see here i'm trying to do it in a different way because i i really had a hard time putting in the first eye so i be i'm doing this sideways and that's not the way to do it so you really have to put it inwards you know, you know the colored part there uh, the good part it's supposed to go in first so it's not going to work and by this time the vinyl is really hard okay so it's already um been given the time to cool and it's hardening and i'm really struggling my hands are already blistered um, i remember that this is um a head that was put in um i put in hot water inside this head so it's really hot so yeah so the struggle is real <laughs> this is just miserable oh, okay my god it, this is like i'm this is giving me ptsd so i finally called it quits for the meantime and i decided to remove the eyes from the u doll and i'll be putting in the eyes instead in one of the american girl dolls heads that i received in my previous haul my hands are already blistered um i wounded even wounded my hand and here i'm showing you the, how i placed in the eyes i don't know why i was putting it sideways but that's not the way to do it as i mentioned you need to put it inwards uh, with a good eyes in but yeah so uh, that's why i needed to use the pusher to uh, position it well oh my god it's worlds different than the u doll you can see um, the eyes are already in um, i just needed to you know adjust it a bit and i all immediately placed in the cotton filling okay because you need it to so that the eyes are not going to like just roll around inside the socket you need something to make it um, stationary or at least stationary enough that you can move it um, and pose it post the doll's eyes <laughs> see that so i was immediately able to position her eyes um as for the udal it was so difficult okay word for the day difficult it was re it really gave me hell okay anyway so time for the second eye so yeah okay so i'm putting in that eyes a bit dif differently here okay so i think because of my, my experience but it doesn't it didn't really matter because it came in quite easily so i'm just putting in um cotton filling again okay so this is very important because without it the you will not be able to move the eyes because it's not uh, it doesn't have anything to back it up 
okay to make it firm so i'm just using the um the nail tool to push it inside the eye socket third while i'll be showing you um the finished product so this is actually how i was able to make my georgina doll so yeah so she is um i am afraid to say that georgina is an afterthought so she was not really planned the eyes that she has right now is oh uh, well what was intended for my u doll it worked out well okay because uh, georgina is now one of my favorite dolls fun fact i named georgina after georgina wilson one of the famous models in my country so she is very articulate and i really love her because she's so beautiful i'm going to flash a picture of her on the screen there she is so this is georgina so see so she looks so cute uh, now i'm wondering what would have happened if i was successful in putting in her eyes in the u doll here's georgina with her brand new violet eyes so there she is but of course, I'm not going to forget my U doll, so I still put in eyes on her. So after following Lindsay Bartel's instructions, and here she is. Like what I said earlier, what I did was submerge the entire head in boiling hot water, and I left it there for 6 minutes. And that allowed me to soften up her vinyl, and I was able to put in her eyes. But even then, it was still very difficult. I had to use a lot of force just to put in her eyes. So if you haven't internalized it yet, if you haven't realized it, again, I'm going to mention it. Please, if you want a U doll, it will be better for you to just have the eyes placed in. Unless you're a very experienced customizer and you already know your way around putting in doll's eyes, then go ahead and do it. But just a word of advice, if you want a friendly advice, then yes, just get the doll's, um, the doll's eyes in uh, before you order it. Okay, so I named her Catherine after uh, Catherine de' Medici. Watch The Serpent Queen. It's a show and I really love that show. So that's why I got interested in Catherine de' Medici. So that's what I named her because she was a very difficult woman and this was a very difficult doll. So that's why I named her Catherine. And of course, so this is Reg or Georgina. So she has her own segment in my YouTube channel. So she shares um, American Girl Dolls trivia, um, so news and everything in between. So I'm actually going to start filming another uh, segment for her since we did have a lot of news from American Girl these past few days. And I was not able to make any video last week for Georgina and even Gloomy Sunday because I was so busy during the weekends but I'm going to fix that very soon. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be able to upload something for at least uh, Sunday or next week. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this fail video. Well, not so much of a fail because something came out of it. I was able to create Reg or Georgina and eventually I was able to make Catherine. But I hope that you enjoy this fail video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!